desiblitz.com. Hi, I'm Talvin Singh, and you're watching me on desiblitz.com. Hi, this is Fessel from DesiBlitz.com. We have with us today eminent producer, composer, and tabla player, Talvin Singh. Talvin, it's great to have you on DesiBlitz.com. Last time we spoke with you was in Birmingham with Niladri Kumar. Yeah, I, I do remember that. And uh, well, thank you. Thank you for coming to London today and, and yeah, yeah, having a chat. Which rag describes um, Talvin Singh? Oh, that's, that's a difficult one um, because the description of a rag is, you know, it's not something um, vague. It's something which, which you spend your whole life learning how this rag and its landscape, its portrait um, should appear uh, in one's mind, in one's heart. And uh, that's a difficult one. But I, I suppose there's, there's rags which are uh, I think Darbari, I think I'm, you know, kind of uh, feel close to that rag. And uh, so I would say Darbari, but, uh, but I wouldn't say that's my favorite rag, but I probably, my aura probably gives a Darbari-esque kind of feeling. <laughs> love for tabla and other percussion instruments is well known. When and where did you first learn the tabla? I couldn't really kind of, you know, stipulate um, a day or, or an event where, where I first kind of learned the tabla because I think my first um, learning, I suppose, came out of observation and the passion of listening to music. Uh, which I still do, but I, I've been very blessed to learn from some great people. Um, my guru, Guru Dev Acharya Pandit Lakshman Singh Ji uh, from the Punjab Garana, um, is who I started learning by the age of 14, 15. And I also learned from Ustad Tari Khan Sahib, um, very, very early age when I was around 11, 12 years old. Um, I had some very very close times with him and and he taught me some really beautiful things and and you know and many other doubler players which are so um so giving and especially giving today because you know the entire repertoire of indian classical music is now on google it's on youtube and so now we're at this kind of stage where where suddenly the ustads really do want to teach and i'm guessing you're still learning oh yeah yeah i'm, I'm, I'm still learning and it's you know it's it, it's a tiny drop drop in the ocean really and um, for me yeah definitely. What is your most loved dal? I think my most loved dal is rupak. I was always drawn to rupak, um, especially from the Sikh tradition, the Sikh temple. Um, when there's a kind of auspicious event like like an, an, the Anand Karaj you know, the, the shepherds are performed in Rupak and, and I got quite drawn to that dal and um, it's a special time cycle and aesthetically, you know, it's um, quite unique because, because the one, the sum is, is where the, the beginning of the cycle is where the kind of josh sh usually is, where people say wah wah. Uh, if there's a tehai or, or someone you know expresses the the sum um, but with rupak the 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 josh is there but it's very soft you know so it's very unique in that in that respect and i, I love i love rupak <laughs> You mentioned the word Josh. What ignites Josh in Talvin Singh? For me, Josh is trying to kind of find a kind of some kind of next level of sonic kind of aesthetic and a kind of 
you know, a kind of hybrid kind of sound between uh, what I passionately have learned and play, which is Indian classical music, and the sounds, the environment, which I grew up in, um, in London, you know, electronic music. For me, it's like when I combine those two elements, there's, there's an extra, George, because I know that's my thing. And, um, you know, it's very personal to me and, and, and it's, it's something which is, you know, it's about identity. It's not just about uh, the traditions. Besides the tabla, what other instruments do you enjoy? I enjoy playing um, tabla, other percussion instruments, drums. I like playing drums. A kit. I learned kit when I was very young, like rudiments of uh, kind of snare drum. And um, I also enjoy playing the surbahar, which is quite a rare instrument today. And and it's something I've been learning over the last few years. And and um, you know, for me, it's it's that more kind of enriching kind of calmness which it brings to my kind of soul. Uh, because obviously, like the josh comes from the rhythm, but but with with the, with you know with the surbahar, for me it's a vehicle to learn the kind of aesthetics and intricate uh, kind of microtonic um, aspects of of rag ragas, and so it's just a medium. You know, I'm not a performing artist and. And I, I, you know, in terms of that instrument, but for me, it's a medium to learn because it it helps me. Um, it's it's like a, it, you know, it's a toolbox for my compositional uh, work. You mentioned the music you've done for Once Again. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? How was the experience? What's been the response um, to that? Once Again, you know, it's it's given me a fantastic opportunity because the director is from Amritsar and lives with his family and works out of Leipzig just in the periphery of Berlin in Germany and he sent me the script and and I said look I love the script the story is about a Bollywood star who's been there and still doing it but leads a kind of rather lonely life in a city, in a social capital like Bombay and and he relies on his driver, his driver's kind of his professional friend, he relies on, on him for many things, you know, errands and day-to-day -day, uh, jobs and, and one of them is to go and get um, takeaway meals from this restaurant which has like, you know, four tables and it's run by this very beautiful, artistic, graceful um, woman who's also the mother of um, two kids, grown-up kids, and and she runs this restaurant and she sends food to him, and you know the drama kicks off from there. So for me, this it was a great opportunity because the director, you know, he really kind of challenged me in so many ways, and and it was quite difficult at times because it's it it's it's a movie about today's Bombay so at times it looks like San Francisco it doesn't look like the India or the Bombay we used to see in like Amol Palikar films you know back in the days it's not that kind of romanticized Bombay um, it's more urbanized Bombay and so but he wanted really old style beautiful melodies heart melting melodies and I, I was like, how's that going to work with this kind of, you know, timeline? And he said, I don't care. I don't forget about all your references of how Bollywood is today. This is what I want. And so the music, you know, the music kind of helps drive, drive the, the, the narrative of the film, the background score. There's some beautiful singers. Hamsika Ayer sang this song called Tuhi, Tuhi to Hai which is on my YouTube channel and it's on, you know, it's, it's released on my label. And also I got to engage with an incredible gifted singer called Magad Ali from the Punjab. And that was a blessing um, because 
the director, he wanted Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan. And the producers had to sit him down and say, look, we can't get him because he's, he's not physically here to sing. So I found a voice called, called Magar Ali from the Punjab. And, you know, the recording we did in Delhi, I, I, I cannot, I have goosebumps when I think about how he sung the background score and also one of the songs. Um, you know, so, yeah, for me, that's quite, it's, a, it, it, it's been a quite a precious uh, project, the Once Again movie. Waltham Forest has been awarded the Borough of Culture and you've been fortunate to perform at the opening. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Uh, borough of Waltham Forest um, is the borough which, where I was born. Um, I went to Sir George Monarch's, used to be a grammar school, now turned into sixth form college. You know, all incredible monumental uh, buildings. And right next to it is the town hall, the grand town hall. So the town hall was the kind of feature of the of the grand opening of the borough, the borough of culture. And it's the first time uh, London has actually seen, um, you know, a kind of cultural capital happening in the city. And uh, so it's quite, it's quite a big deal. And and you know they they had asked me to kind of kickstart the whole festive uh, with this kind of commission, this audiovisual commission. And we, we kind of engage with a lot of uh, youth from the area, you know, with, from playing instruments to, um, to rapping, to singing, to spoken word. And so that's the piece. And, and, and we're actually going to release the piece because everybody just really kind of, yeah, really enjoyed it they really enjoyed it because they felt that it had this it represented the beat and the sound of of the borough of the community and um yeah it, it, it's fantastic you know it's fantastic to know that uh, we've got the situation in waltham forest um there are problems um there are problems there there, there are redundant um you know people around with with ideas creative ideas and and I suppose boredom which kind of you know cannot channel themselves into into um, a kind of harmonic lifestyle and that you know so so for me that's that has been an issue because because if we're gonna spend all this kind of money on celebrating something it's more about how the, the, the you know how you're going to sustain that, and how you're going to provide resources, um, because I think today, especially in London, I feel uh, it has changed. It's it, it is a city which is becoming for the rich to enjoy, and the rich to enjoy only, and that does worry me, and, and many other people. And uh, I hope I hope we can make a change to that. Thank you, Talvin Singh, for joining us on DesiBlitz.com. Aapke saath guftgu karke bara mazaya. Thank you, bahut bahut anandaya ji.